and today we're going to be playing some more NTW3 on this wonderful battlefield. We do have, in fact, another 4 versus 4 taking place right now. Uh, I've decided to keep all the settings exactly the same as the last video because no one seemed to have any complaints about it, so I'll just assume every, the way things went last time were perfectly great. So today we are going to be, as I mentioned before, uh, having a 4v4. It's going to be between a British, two British players and two Austrian players. Let me turn up the volume overall. Yeah. Two British players and two Austrian players here moving out across the battlefield. Uh, and they're going to be up against what looks like just France. I see one, two, three, four. So f against just all France, apparently. Everyone's being French today. Not a big deal, not a worry at all. Uh, actually, are they actually generals? Let me just see. Are, those, are these general units? I suppose they are. Got some pretty good animations here. Yeah, not too laggy, I don't think. Oh, I think this battle should go pretty smoothly. I'm not too, not too worried about it, considering how uh, sm surprisingly smooth the last video went. I'm actually very happy about that. Um, staying, hanging out about around uh, the 20 FPS range, which it should raise as we uh, get further into the battle and people start dying. That should probably help out a fair bit. And uh, this uh, replay was also sent in uh, by the person who sent in the uh, battle with the Americans in it. Um, Oli Oli. Um, so thank you again, sir, for giving me this battle replay and letting me go ahead and show off I, I assume to be a really good game. Uh, now, the rules for this battle, uh, as I have been instructed to understand and follow, is that objectives will be scored based on whether or not they're behind uh, an ally's battle line, and in terms of if there's units behind the battle line, there would be need to be troops in the house, or, you know, if there's... Con con you know, if something's, you know, contested. Everyone seems to be moving up pretty fast here since we have this visual of this French army here uh, kind of moving forward. Uh, looks like this team is spreading out a little bit further than these guys based on their general positions. Although I, I'm sure there's troops over here, though. That, I'd be a little surprised. This is my first time looking at this replay, uh, so who knows? Maybe they really did put all four there, but that seems like kind of a bad idea. I don't know. Not sure what they're doing. And I learned a couple things also that uh, people might not be aware of. One, walking in column does not make you go faster, but it is conveniently helpful to make sure your unit has a majority of its men on the road to be able to get the speed boost when regular marching. Uh, second is that going into square formation actually does not help at all. It only helps for anti-cav. It doesn't help... And apparently we have rockets now, so that's going to be fun. I guess we do have a pretty good visual of our opponents. Uh, rockets aren't really good for killing. They're more for morale shock. So... Oh my god, did everyone bring rockets? Well, this is not something we see every day, folks. So I hope you're ready to enjoy this very explosive battle. Ah, look, they did put troops over there. I was going to say, it would be a little bit weird if they didn't. Oh, but that is just Cav. Mm. Uh, hopefully there's an army over there. And yeah, it would seem that uh, troops are kind of forming up here. Charge. What? Oh, wow. All right, the first charge of the battle. First engagement. Let's take a look. They're actually going to come into it, though. This thing's going to fall in. You're walking into a trap. Good clash here. From this French calf. Oh, more, more calf. Full charges all around the battlefield. One French calf being taken down. That other French calf might get taken down as well. Over here, yeah, the Austrians are doing an amazing job clearing out this cavalry. I guess they just can't stand up to this much, uh, this much cavalry. Okay, pretty even here. Oh, nope, never mind. The red bar's coming in. Got a counter Austrian calf charge over here. Oh my goodness, the cavalry is being for the French are being wiped off the battlefield. Just incredible morale. There must be a general here or something. Doesn't look like it, though. Wow. Oh, my goodness. All of this French cavalry is being cut down. They're bringing in more cav. How much cav did they bring to this battlefield? Surely their line armies are not going to be as good. Oh, the morale shock of being hit by those rocket cannons. Surely, or even though they're not killing anything, should be doing quite a... Did someone die? 
Oh my god, I guess they can kill the odd man. Oh my god. Okay. And now we have uh, the French cavalry charging in. So now they'll presumably get double teamed again by this Austrian Cav, which the Austrian Cav is pretty darn powerful. I would not be charging into them, but I guess maybe the, yeah, look again, the French Cav going down. Not good at all. Looks like there is some more fighting over here. Uh, some British Cav, uh, again, taking out more of the French Cav though. Yeah, it, it's okay. I, we, there's, oh, oop, went through the map. Sorry about that. Looks like the French... Oh, well, finally the Austrians are breaking. I was about to say, they've been a little OP. And then we have some British... Uh, British, are these rifles? Yeah, the British light foot opening fire, getting some good shots. Onto the uh, the French forces. But yeah, just a ton... Mosh pit of cav now. Although the French are getting a good surround. Oh, but Austrians are now going to balance out that. So now this cavalry might die, although this Austrian cav is falling. It is falling. These troops are just running away. Uh, I guess this is happening now. I mean, they're, they're probably going to walk into... Yeah, they're going to walk into a British line. So it should be kind of fun. More cavalry. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that French cav is just not looking too good. Although the Austrians are starting to break now, so maybe, maybe the Austrians will... You know, have a little bit of balance. Ugh, shooting their own men. That's kind of gross. These guys need to stop and form a line or something. Oh, really? He didn't even order them to run away all the way? All right. Weird. I guess that unit will probably die. All right, the French are finally bringing in their infantry, and that'll help slow everything down. This bridge cavalry, pretty sure, is winning. No, they're not winning the battle, actually. I guess the this building has fallen to the enemy. A bit more superior in this particular instance, as the Austrian cab is finally getting taken down, which is to be expected. Uh, looks like there was a bit of a melee here, but again, yeah, I didn't expect that French unit to really do too much. Although it is, oh, some British troops are breaking them. Okay, maybe it was a good trade then, I guess. All right, British lines are now reforming, getting ready. Forty-fourth. 79 foot. I expect to see a really wonderful volley. Can we get a good shot of the volley? Yeah. Excellent. Incredible. I'll try and do more close ups because I felt like in the last battle we didn't have enough close ups, so we'll work on that. Oh, and then a, a charge. Yeah, I would charge some lights if you're just going to ignore them. Oh! Well, hello there. Yep, the British totally forming up be doing a good job charging into melee just kind of disrupting the the light lines Makes sense whereas the rifles on this side are getting shots off yeah one french unit routing another french unit routing these are just regular foot uh granted you, you just need regular foot in order to really to route the uh the cab will stay zoomed out just so the game doesn't like too much uh the french oh yeah they're clearly going to be able should be able to mop up that british troop because of how many more french there are oh but they're running into those into those cannons did not have it set to canister shot, obviously, or at the very least did not get a chance to fire uh, beforehand. So yeah, that British artillery should be routing. Yep, yeah, that'll route for sure. Oh, did we lose some sound? Ah, it'll come back. We don't need to hear the rockets anyway. The rockets kind of kind of loud. The sound should come back for the shooting anyway, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Yep, yep. It's just the rockets that are glitching out, which is fine. This is a, still a, a bit of a buggy mod, so not everything should be expected to be perfect at all. So yeah, so it's interesting. Yeah, so these guys will do a better job if they uh, are out of square. and are. Uh, I mean, obviously the line will do better at shooting, but melee-wise also, if it was like were to charge, this line would be far better suited to this. And it uh, looks like there's some um, French cavalry in the back lines. Interesting. Oh, they, they charge. Okay, great. So the British are going ahead and charging the uh, French forces. Display. Where's the British? I feel like the British have over committed somewhere or something because it seems like the British are lacking a significant amount of their troops. Uh, in any case, big mosh pit in the middle. Again, we're not gonna we're not gonna zoom in on that too much just so we don't lag out or anything. And uh, we 
We do have some cavalry going ahead and uh, getting into this fight. Going to be uh, charging Austrian units starting to break. Gonna be a counter charge. Nope, no counter charge. I think that was actually a mistake. I think the French should have held their position and helped to make sure that that broke first. And now you have a more fresh morale troop. Uh, you know, and now there's this double team thing going on. So you could be at risk. Granted, if you have good enough melee units, it doesn't matter, obviously, if you have good quality troops. And, of course, and the Austrians getting some great shots, actually, being able to come around from behind and to, to help clean up this little melee. Yeah, yeah, as that unit breaks, now the, the, these guys should. The, I think these guys should reform. Yeah, so now the British are actually reforming, getting into position to open fire on the French. Yep, Blackwatch, doing a good job. From the French perspective, yeah, maybe those units are kind of a lost cause. Oh, uh, we do have a French cavalry engagement here. I don't know where they're... Oh, more artillery. Yep, yeah, I'd sacrifice my cav for artillery too, actually. So artillery can uh, get a game changer in the battle. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, I guess, the coalition forces are, are really just taking a, a good hammering against their artillery. But, again, the French only have so many troops. Wow, look at this. Sorry, I just, I have to point out this ridiculous, like, amount of line that are perfectly straight. Look at that. Look at how, how long this line stretches over this hill. It would seem that they're kind of moving forward. Oh, uh, perfect time to look over here, actually, because we are getting another cav engagement, possibly. So let's see, are they gonna are they gonna go ahead and do that? As the other British player is now pushing up his forces. I think there's more British on this side. Yeah, but these guys are getting able to get into position. And over in infantry, yep, keeping the uh, the good units back. And then pushing up, yeah, yeah, pushing up on the uh, the cavalry. If this French player isn't paying attention to my growing his cav, he could have some serious trouble. A nice volley, please. That's why I'm staying over here and not going over to the other side of the battlefield. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good ball. Not everyone firing in sync, but... Yeah. Oh, and the rocket's going off. Yeah, now we got the rocket sound back. Excellent, excellent. Ah, jumping through the mini... Jumping over the mini-map, not always the best thing. Uh, so where are we at in this, this point in the battle? We have the British opening fire on the French. But, you know, nothing you wouldn't expect to see. These Austrians should really move up. This would be a great time to advance and swing the door around with your extra reserve troops. I mean, yeah, you're getting some free shots here, but... Eh. I feel like with the French on retreat, to this degree, you can close the door on them. Although... Oh, wait a minute. Nope, I was wrong. There are more French troops over here. All right. Admittedly, I did not see those before I made that judgment, so... At this point now, I, I think holding the line ground would be a good idea. Remember, we are playing for capture points still, so right now, technically, according to the, way, the rules that I've been instructed, this capture point technically belongs to the blue team. This is obviously the blue team, and this point, because of the house right there, is the blue team. This would be a red team house, and this would be a red team house. So right now, blue team is winning. So blue team does not need to advance, actually. I thought they had to advance, that's why I was suggesting they'd move up, but apparently they don't need to, which is completely fine. Because now it almost feels like there's a second player here. Yeah, feels like there's two players over here. But with that being said, it seems like these Austrian troops are. But I mean, they don't need to advance though. That's the thing. You don't need to advance with these troops. So honestly, as long as they, the British and the Austrians hold this hill, you know that'll be that'll be a good good way to do it. So now we just have the epic line battle, I suppose, to to watch. Kind of look at it from the attacker's position. French. Ooh, good volley to catch, too. Good volley. Yeah. I mean, look at how long these vines are. That's what I love about Napoleon. It seems the massively long vines that you wouldn't normally get in other Total War games. Because other Total War games are just a mosh pit of people, you know, smacking into each other. But in this one, it's a lot more tactical. It's a lot more about the position of your troops, making sure you have the right troops, shooting at the right troops. And, uh, yeah, those... Uh, this line are going to pull back. Do you guys actually up here? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I just wanted to see if they were shooting. Oh, look at that. I never noticed that before. There's squares. I'm scrolling up as fast as I can, I swear. Okay, I'll try and stop doing that. Because um, I can see how that could be a problem. Oh, what if I go really high up? And I'm just experimenting now. Nope, still goes through the floor. Alright, just a bug. You just can't jump across the map. That makes my life kind of harder. Alright, uh, 
So now we have more rockets coming in. Again, that's more for the morale, I think. I, don't, I really don't see rockets um, kill people. It's fine, I suppose. The French now moving up. i probably move up too. Are they charging? Oh, they're grenadiers. Alright, sure. Grenadiers could charge. No, but they're uh, not. They're getting in position to open fire. Yeah, good, good shots going down on the British uh, foot. Kind of possibly forming what uh, people call in vanilla the noob square, which is where you have a right angle. But it does look like they're avoiding that pretty well. I thought they were going to based on the formation of the Austrians in relation to the British. Now they're getting, they're getting, uh, huh? What happened to those British troops? Or maybe it was Austrian troops. Either way. There were troops back back here, but they could have helped swing the door. Now it looks like the French are going to be able to do some door swinging. Yeah, not good. But, uh, not good at all for the Austrians. But the French, excellent job. Again, like I would say, swing the door around. Let's see it. Yep. Yep. Exactly. This French player knows what I'm thinking. He gets into the, the psychics of my mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. What? I can't see the movement of these French. Uh, they're just... Okay. But so I think it might have been a misclick, unless there's like some Our men are plan I'm not for... aware of. There's like. But these. What? Okay. So I guess we have a charge off the hill. Oh, a, a rear charge with some French cap. That'll help with the demoralizing needed there. So the cap, the camel. No, they're not camel units, but still a pretty good. Weird. It's kind of a weird looking battle. Alright, so they're getting charged in the back. That's good. They'll stop them from firing, even though the French cab will die. Probably a pretty good idea to help your troops out in the melee combat, although plenty of troops still getting those free shots while the French advance. This line Our men uh, are running looks like there was a bit of a charge over here. 2v1. I... Yeah, the. Oh, there's two French. Okay, so the British troops should go down pretty handily. Still shooting. I guess the Austrians have decided to charge off of their hill. Not a bad idea if you think you can win the fight. That's how the French have been routed off this battlefield before. As we've clearly seen, their cavalry didn't stand up to the Austrian cavs, so perhaps the Austrian infantry can also win in the melee, but that'll be interesting. Now they're reforming their lines. This is what's called the noob square, is where you have a, the angle. You know, you don't you don't like that angle. You want to have the enclave, not the exclave? I don't know. You just you, you want to be the one wrapping around the other guy. If you're being wrapped around, that's what people call free with some All right, so now we have a charge going in on those Austrians. Uh, hit the French pretty darn well. Uh, we see that the Austrians are in fact falling back, uh, doing their best to make sure that the uh, the French can't squeeze through any gaps. But then, with more more units breaking, the French cavalry going to be able to get up here and attack the Austrian lines. So the Austrians are getting hit darn hard here with that uh, that brutal melee. Yep, more Austrians going down. They're pulling back. Makes sense. The British not looking too much better here as the French move up here. They're definitely trying to take this hill, which makes sense to me. And the battle's barely even started, so uh, yeah, this is really good progress by the French even uh, being able to repel the Austrians now who are at this uh, crossing. Oh, look, wait a minute. I just realized this is the same map as uh, we just watched, except it's kind of a different... Uh, different scenario. Now, in this game, we see that these guys are being pushed back. Oh my god, this is incredible. You're, the French are going to be able to possibly take take this whole uh, whole battlefield with this, if they can wipe out two armies and with, with theirs. I mean, that would be a huge boost. A huge boost, completely. As the French are currently uh, killing some Austrians here, they're marching up. Oh, it looks like they're uh, pulling back to help support their friends, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that at all, um, because I think they, uh, well, we'll see. But they should have more than enough to go take this house, unless they don't want to. I mean, you don't. Your your point is right here. You, I, I know there's a, a house here to defend, but the Austrians aren't pushing, so wouldn't want to, like, like, take this house? Well, that seems like a bad idea. You're gonna let the troops regroup. Yeah, because there's some troops shooting now, and expect these guys to open fire. 
is actually a, a healthy unit of troops. Well, I guess the French don't... What are the French doing? Okay, no, I, I get that they want to send troops back, and I, I'm fine with that. There's not, I don't actually have a problem with that. The issue I'm seeing is that they're also abandoning the point in trying to get the point, so... Get out! <laughs> Sorry, I apologize for yawning. I don't like yawning in these videos, but that's kind of the way things go sometimes. Uh, so yeah, so the French, I guess, I guess the battle's now turning more over here to the main action, as the Austrians need to find a way to get across this river crossing. Um, light should never be engaging line, just as a pro tip. Uh, you should always be having line engaging your line. Um, if you're doing this double up thing, these lines should all be firing. So I'm not too sure what's actually going on with their thinking here. Oh, I guess the Austrians are flanking from behind. Oh, this could be good, actually. If the Austrians even wanted to, they could send a couple units back to head towards the enemy's four, the, the, the French four-point building. This which building would, has uh, fallen to the enemy! Cause an instant win according to the rules. I've been doing some research on the rules of the game. Oh, and what's this? Oh, looks up. Like, never mind. I was wrong. The French were smart. They actually came here and they took this point. So now they're going to have to be charged by some British Royal Sapper Marines. Uh, Royal Sappers and Miners. I mean, not Marines. So maybe these guys have a pretty good melee score. I'm not too sure though. Ugh, taking some fire along the way. Rushing into this building. Uh, I don't think they're going to take it. That seems a bit unlikely. Okay, thank God the French are actually going going to, you know, defend that house. I see why they're bringing so many troops back, because they know they pretty much can hold the house. Good job, with good job, good job. And then the, over here, I wasn't watching this, this battle too much. Ugh, damn it, I forgot to... Oh, I'm sorry, guys, I forgot to not actually click on the map. Looks like this army... Oh, actually, it looks pretty healthy, actually. I thought it was pretty crunched off, and, uh, you know, if three British lines can, uh, can hold it, that's, of course, reasonable. My god, how... Well, okay. Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute. The rockets actually do damage? Oh, I guess it kind of just mostly knocked people out. But... Yikes, I would not be able to be in the receiving end of that. But yeah, look, I guess the British are now sending troops over, because... That entire army is being held back by three... Oh, there's a cannon over there. It is being held back by just those three or four troops. Maybe those British troops could actually go take... The, where is it? Is that it? Wait. Take that four-point building. We just check technically... Actually, you know what's interesting? And this is why I think the whole behind a battle line is kind of confusing rule, but we'll go with it. Because right now, technically, if these calves stay here... The battle line, and I'll explain it, I'll explain it. There's shooting going on, but nothing, you're not really missing anything, don't worry. Because they're not moving, or advancing, or changing position. So essentially, here's my thinking behind this, and this is the way I'm going to be doing it for officially calling the winner of this battle. As long as these cavalry stay here and they don't attack at all, this will technically all be considered, like, this section in the middle here. Obviously, this, the, the red team will hold this side and the blue team because of this little inlet and if troops were to squish around this four point unless there's troops inside would automatically be considered for them which would be an automatic win technically so we'll see how it plays out obviously this isn't you know final or anything but the way things are shaping up uh this is no longer behind their battle line and i cannot see any troops in there um which is kind of the problem with this game a little is the fact that you can't see if there's hidden troops which is why she, there should be more rules than just having men in a building or battle lines. But for now, the way it's playing out, based on what's what I'm seeing, uh, this Sir. would be in control of the blue team. Sir, our general is under attack. Oh, I don't know who's general's being attacked. Not really my problem. Uh, boss, where's that at? Oh, this building. Okay, so it looks like these French troops here are kind of holding it. Uh, but this looks like it's going to be the main stay of the battle. Yep, lots of shots coming in now from the French. Again, just trying to hold out. The French have no reason to advance. They're not going to be moving. They're going to be hanging out with those guys. Mercenaries, what? Okay, I didn't know the French had, like, Ottoman Empire-looking troops, but they have them, so that's cool, I suppose. Austrians, I suppose they're kind of waiting for their British ally to come help. Which makes sense. I mean, technically none of these troops can be seen, so the French have over here have no way to know what's going on, so, I mean, 
wouldn't you want to send troops to the four point building anyway just to make sure you have it since the French are clearly cut off and I would think these British troops while I'm sure they'll be helpful for taking the town it doesn't really matter because you need to have the four point building now this side is really struggling I think and uh, we'll need to be helped somehow oh that calf just charged into their death that's hilarious all right so those calves just suicided um yeah, because they're just holding the line here, because they know that this four-point building... What the heck is this unit? Are units not even... Oh no, that's them. So, Because this would technically be considered the blue team. So yeah, a lot of interesting choices to be made here. A lot of interesting choices. Now, I am watching this from the blue team's perspective, though, so that's why it's a little bit rough. I'm actually going to go ahead and real quickly listen. For once, I do want to be kind of zoomed in. Listen to this building and see if I can hear anything. I don't, I don't hear anything. Because generally, that's something, just so you know, everyone, uh, that's something you can do to check if someone's in a building that you can't see. You just zoom in real close and you listen. Generally can hear muttering of footsteps or stuff. I have the, my voice volume jacked up all the way to the top, so there's no real excuse for that. For, so if I don't hear voices, I have to assume that there's no one in there. Because uh, that's, even though I don't have the fog of war, I should still be able to hear voices. Because that's, unless... Unless I got taken out, that's the way I'm going to be running it for today's battle. So we're going to assume no one's in there because I can't hear any voices. No confirmation of any living souls in there. And uh, looks like uh, there's some Austrians in the back. Kind of getting some good calf stuff. But this is really, I guess, the most important part of the battle. I have to assume that there would be a strategical reason why you'd want to take this area over trying to go after the four-pointer because everything would be resolved if we just had a unit back here so I could know for 100% certainty like if this if this British force would just march to the four-point building and better not I you know I've, I would not want to march on this you know there's so many French units here and it's not even worth that much you know like the the Austrian and the British over here are being smart. They're not pushing this house. They don't need the house. Because they have the four-point building and the one-point building, and I guess they want to take this. I mean, it's a more exciting to look at. You know, this giant line of the conclave. Concave, I apologize. Concave of troops. And the Austrians are now moving their cat, swinging their cav around. Makes sense. I love how uh, over here, and as I zoom out, I think I fly faster, uh, that while there are troops marching around, what are they doing? kind of containing this player with only three units. Why would you engage this as the British? The French have to be causing... Oh my god, and the French are losing? That seems pretty bad. But yeah, when you have this good artillery position... Oh, they can't see anything. I don't know, I don't know how they're getting such good hits, but... I guess the morale... Yeah, I, I guess that's containing them. What are these guys? What troops... I guess this is a good contain. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I, uh, let's certainly try something else. Yeah, so it looks like the British are not going for the four-point building for some reason. Even though that would definitely be the better move. Uh, even if you don't send all the men. Just send someone over there to go look at it. Because what are the French really going to do? They can't, you know, the British aren't, aren't going to be able to get over to this side to help defend their four-point building. You know, there's no pushing going on over here. What, what kind of unit is over there? Sappers. Oh, they came back from routing. That's fine, I suppose. Yeah. No, I think the British are kind of giving away, possibly giving away points by not going there. So, who knows? Although, again, granted, based on the way I'm, I'm ruling it, based on, because I was told that this is a battle lines game, uh, I have to assume that the uh, four-point building is now <laughs> firmly... Oh, sorry. Really, I'm sorry. Is now firmly in the hands of the blue team the British, because I have no way to confirm that there's a, you know, anyone holding the other one. Which, ideally, I should just take it out. You know, maybe I should even just scrap the building. Just say, hey, this one's not part of the battle. 
which would mean that these guys went automatically set into the bear. So that's why the whole battle line is easy. Okay, so the French, as you can see, are moving up. Trying to push out of them, out of their area, and in all fairness, maybe there is a unit in that building that I can't see or hear. Which seems a little unlikely. Actually, wait, no. I know for sure that the hearing thing works because I can do it when I am in game and when, when we've been in replays before. I could track enemy movements by listening to their voices even if they didn't appear on the minimap because I did that in the United States game so therefore there is no one inside the four point building for the French okay now I realize I, I can confirm it for myself um, so there you go so now it makes more sense for the British to be doing this rather than head back to the four point building because there's no one in the four point building because maybe they did the same thing I did where they just zoom in and just listen to this track it's a little cheesy to be able to listen and kind of know where everyone is but uh you know, you gotta do it. So now this is looking kind of bad for the French. Yep, excellent. The Austrians are pushing forward. Oh, wow, they got... Okay, great. Yes, 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 they should be pushing. Oh, good, I can see all their lines. Yeah, nothing... I forgot I can do that. I can just see where they're lining up. Yeah, no, good. I would, uh, I'd line up. Glorious like victories, huh? Is soon to be yours. I mean, granted, if they table the French, it doesn't really matter anyway about the points, because there's no army to claim points. You can't win if you don't have anyone to on the battlefield to say that you win. Although it's strange that if you use the real LOC rules, like the real rules, it wouldn't happen. It's so weird. Oh well. So the British are now... Huge explosions. Man, the French must be really, you know, unsure how to handle this situation. I mean, they're obviously losing. I mean, look at this. This unit isn't even formed up. They're not even facing the right way. They're just getting shot in the back. I don't know what they're doing. Our men are running, sir. There's some good shots of the French. And the British, of course. Now the Austrians should be advancing. This should be a full advance then if... French have bolstered their lines a bit, kind of trying to reduce the noob square by having this concave here. Good idea. Really good idea. I'd probably do that too. That makes sense. Oh, and some French troops take, took out some uh, artillery here that were hiding. And now they're being uh, squarely charged by the Austrian Cav. An excellent job. Our men are running, sir. Yep, now the British forces and the Austrian forces are moving up. Thank you. Oh, wow, that's really good range. Has the range been increased? Or maybe this is just all the way it's always been, but... The Austrian's getting really good range of these shots. Oh, wait a minute, there's also... Uh, some fighting over here. Oh, there goes the rockets. Whew. Man, those rockets are doing good. I can tell the Coalition is definitely doing a good job. nonetheless. Austrians moving over to help out. I'm really curious how they're how they're winning over here. How the British are actually winning. Yeah, this seems so odd. Look at this. The British with three units pushing back all these French troops. I guess kind of like a, a, a 300 Spartan style thing where it doesn't matter that the French have more men. Well, I guess they haven't really been wounded though. They're just not moving. I don't know what this player's doing. I guess they're marching troops around here. But, uh... Bridge player has three troops over here, so really good job. Four rockets hurtling in, of course. Like for example, for example, let's go to say this forest. 
I wanted to test out the listening thing again. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. See? You hear this? You can clearly hear marching. Clearly. There's definitely troops here. Therefore, because we can hear marching, I just proved it. Sorry, I wanted to make sure I could prove it. Uh, because we don't hear anything on the four-point building, we have to assume there are no tr French troops in the four-point building. Boom. We did it, guys. Just used it with some scientific evidence and video recording. Alright. So I guess the French are going to choose to have a final last stand here. There's still a lot of game time left, but the British are kind of overwhelming them at this point. Even having, like, a KGL first push will be fired here. Doing a really good job. I love the British uniform. You know me, guys. I play the British. I've always liked the British uniform. It looks wonderful. And the Austrians also helping out. This is a long battle line. Wow, this is fighting. And as expected, uh, this team has also taken the uh, farmhouse over there. But making it now not even mattering about the four point building for the French. Because they lack their command points. They can't, you know. They Even if they have this building, which they don't. But even if they did have it, which I think they could do. Do a good job with putting some men in uh, Grenadiers. Yeah, put the Grenadiers back in the building, actually. Just because you're going to get a little bit more range. Oh, are there men? Trying to listen again. Weird. That's a glitch that needs to be fixed. You need to be able to see through the side of Big explosions coming in from those rockets. Now possibly doing some friendly fire damage. Uh, and this French line is getting thinner and thinner. Do not want to be these French. Not at all. The French are kind of running around trying to brace. Oh, there's One of a our units guard. has used all its ammunition, sir. Hiding in the woods. Now there they are, right there. I'm not going to go all the way over there. But just saying, over there. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. They're still loading that gun. Still loading the gun. All right. Oh God, are they? Are they seriously coming up for a Right when you're about to shoot your cannon. That's not good. I can hear a charge though. Some Austrian cavalry making their way to the French. I'm going to do a, a pretty good job of wiping 
out that unit. Then they can just move on to the next one. Again, it seems like that's a theme in this battle, is that the French are constantly being attacked by and getting destroyed by melee. But it seems that the British are also deciding, well, they want to have some fun too, so they're going to go ahead and charge into those French troops. Very good move, if I do say so myself. The troops are now... Oh, shoot. Rockets coming in. Oh, my God. What a wonderful looking battlefield. They're all falling back now. We have French in full retreat. British coming in for a sandwich off the fields. Austrians are and British trying to hold out. French will push back. Yep, back to back now. Trying to defend two flanks. But they have this gigantic hole in the middle, which will need to be softened up. Oh god, troops firing into the back of their own men. Not good at all. Yeah, surely you had to fix that problem. Are you pushing forward? Maybe it's a final charge. Yep, final charge coming in. Then we're going to do anything to try and stop this. Doesn't look like it'll turn out. It's going to lag. Yeah, it's really lagging. Sorry about that. I'm going to get out of there. For the sake of the video, I'm going to pull away a bit. But yeah, it looks like there's going to be a giant... Trying bayonet charge, but the British are surrounding the French. It was the last hurrah. Pretty good. I mean, it does Our men are bit, running for. It's not that much time left. I think as soon as this area falls, I think that's uh, that's game at that point. I mean, we'll keep going through the whole thing, but. I think at this point we can kind of tell who's going to win the battle. Yeah, the British are just kind of moving forward, just kind of decimating the French at this point. Not even showing mercy, not letting them retreat or fall back. As the French are slowly pushed away through melee combat. Again, more charging going on from the French right here, as you can see, they're just kind of moving up. And then crash right into those lines. An excellent display. Absolutely excellent. So let's take a look at uh, over here as well. You'll notice the French troops who we saw were hiding in the woods, who we were able to hear uh, now pushing forward. As you can see here, sneaking the around. Of and I'm not surprised by this at all. But again, the British are holding everything with only three troops, so it was totally a wonderful idea. A nice half charge here. Again, I'm can watch a, a slaughter, but there's no real, real point. This is kind of the more, all the more tactical stuff that happening. As the French are now actually taking out some British calf. Very good move. And it is currently 7 to 4 if we were generous, but technically I don't think the French even own any command points. It's very sad. Okay, full mass bayonet charge here. Uh, it was kind of to be expected. This British unit was alive for way longer. Perfect, yeah, I was going to say, perfect spot for some excellent uh, artillery strikes coming down on this position, though, as they finally break out of this little choke point here, kind of making the last-ditch effort move. You know, you could even take some, this is really interesting, you could take some cavalry, go ahead and dismount it, you could order them to dismount, and hide in a building. So you could actually steal points from the other team if you so, were so inclined. And then that'll go down pretty darn quick. So now the French need to move. All right. If the French want to take come back, which I, you know, I would send a cavalry unit to their four pointer. If if the French really did own that four pointer, I would send a cavalry unit to the four pointer, and try and take it. That'd be your your best option. I mean, like look at how how many French troops are routing off the battlefield. I and mean, there's a lot of of men here. Where are they going? Are they moving out now? We're all in column, I think. Yep. Now they're, uh, the great march has begun. They're all, they're all heading out to go to the four-point building, maybe? Wow, that'd be amazing if it was just a complete domination. They just were like, nah, we don't care if you have troops in there or not. We're just going to take all the points. They don't even want this to be a close game, I guess. Yeah, the UK backing up those Austrians. Wow, good combo. Really good use of, uh, of tactics, you know, pulling back. You know, they got pushed all the way back to their house up here, but 
uh, because units came back from routing and I assume some more support from this British player over here uh, and the Austrian player who was also over here swinging around doing a good job I mean the Austrians really carried this this out today with the British they really just good tactical good tactics yep now they're marching to the four point building I assume at least they better be oh god are they coming over there they don't need to they can let that go you just take that four point building and it's over anyway so like definitively so we'll see what they choose to do uh, I'm actually gonna maybe speed it up a little bit um, oh wait looks like there's some line battle shooting over here so we can pass the time watching that excellent displays of uh, gunshots here with uh, some Hanoverian line infantry and some 59th uh, Lily White's foot. Good shot. Good shot. Yes. Very good indeed. Oh, and a third. Oh, no, that's just two. I'm just being blind. More, more French troops marching up to the field. It's just more like line infantry. And these guys are more. Have, I like the, the, the various patterns and combinations of these uh, French troops. Showing they're a little bit more like a militia. They're not just, you know, normal stuff. And there's a surprising thing you know, about how much an actual unit in normal deployment would be, about 120, 130. You know, 10 less men wouldn't change too much. In terms of the other overall size, the troops actually have less men than a typical line size, so... Pretty good. Seeing that li little line battle back and forth. Alright, is anyone going to the four-point building? Please tell me someone is doing that. Even if everyone doesn't. I understand if you want to split the army. But, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yep, I was about to say, uh, you should be uh, marching along the road. Oh, I see, they were just going to the road. And now the, uh, the Highland. Oh, these are just regular Highland? They don't have, like, Highland foot. Okay. So just another unique variety of British soldier now marching along the road to take the four-point building. Wow. This has been a really incredible game, to be honest, guys. We're actually going to go ahead and, uh, I know there's some fighting over there, but we'll go ahead and fast-forward it. So maybe the video won't take an hour. Uh, we'll just see what this French army is doing over here. As we watch again. Uh, again, trying to save time. Okay. Didn't want to kill the FPS here, so we're, we're doing that. Let's see what the French are actually doing. Where are they marching to? I guess they're marching to meet that army over there. That, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're aware of. nice seeing all these French troops marching out. We haven't really done much. These are pretty fresh troops, except for the fact that they've kind of been shelled several times. You know, there's lots of, there's still a lot of French troops here, which can really do something quite spectacular, but, oh, they're just weird. So they're forming up first, not the end of the world. I'd probably order them to just start continue marching if you're going to march them in column. The column looks really cool, and I think it's like the best way to march if you want to look. If you want to make your stuff look cool. But with 12 minutes left uh, and this much British now moving up the road, this is the kind of the most important part: is to see did they actually leave troops there or not? What can this unit see? Can this unit see anything? They're not quite close enough to see what that building was in that building yet. Ugh. Now they're getting shelled from two sides. And a huge force of Austrians with a small contingent of British now marching up the hill. <laughs> the men really are good. fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. This looks pretty darn good. The French marching now? Yep. Marching out. You gotta do what you can, right? Especially with this much troops left, I'd be surprised if you didn't uh, just keep trying. And as that gets uh, taken out, that artillery. Oh, interesting. Are the British actually falling over here on this side? Yes, there's artillery. Eh. Yeah. 
Oh wow, they're actually uh, doing, actually winning over here. That's funny. They might have been able to push all the way through the lines if they had actually stayed over here. I mean, this is much closer to the house. I mean, sure, they're bringing over a, a whole fresh troop of line infantry, which should help out a great deal. But you know, could have been fun to march that way. But instead, the French are pushing across the field, the open field. They're getting ready to, oh, where are they going? They're reforming their lines into a line. Yeah, they're getting into a line formation. Perhaps not wanting to give them the hill, but I would just march down. You're, they're getting shelled anyway. You know, you may as well. Oh, a nice cavalry charge here coming in from the French onto the Austrian cavalry. Let's see how well this fares. I'm sure this Austrian cavalry is not going to be looking too happy. Nah, they're going to get they're going to get taken out pretty well. Units that can form square have form square. Sir, your general has been killed. This oh, is I, a black day. I guess the uh, general died somehow. Who died? Which perspective are we watching this from again? Oh. This was the gen... Oh, was that the general? No. This was the general. Okay, so the Austrian... So the person within the sin was playing as the Austrian. See, you never figure that out until you actually have a general die or something that's significant enough that you can tell whose unit is what. Okay, so the submitter of this was clearly the Austrian. Austrian team. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't... Even when I like somebody my own times when I lose, I don't always like it when it's just a blatant, you know, overwhelming defeat. I like it when it's close. I like close battles. Oh, boy. Yep. They'll just march over and take that, I suppose. As the British now advance without their Austrian allies actually coming to support. So the British are doing is purely for themselves. Kind of down here, not really very visible. If you get it on the French side, I mean, yeah, they're getting down, but you can't really, I mean, you can kind of see the French. Oh, yep. All right, I guess they're opening fire. I guess they're in range. Excellent. Yeah, I'd go, t yeah, I'd take out this British force while they're out of position because they didn't stay with the French. Totally. Excellent, excellent shots. Look at that, that would not be, uh, that would not be fun. French pushing forward, pushing down the hill. Even though, on the minimap, you can clearly see them, the units might not always be able to. That's why shots are not always perfect. Chasing, good chasing down the uh, the British. Maybe the Austrians are just letting them do that because it's fun. Oh, it's kind of cool. As the British are now holding the lines, I think the British have suddenly realized that they're. Uh, I mean, I would not want to be charged like this. Even as the French charge and troops are lost, are they going to fire from point blank range? I would love to see this. Yeah, do it, do it, shoot, shoot. No, they're charging. Ah, oh, whatever. I always like to see those point blank gunshots too because I think that's. You know, one, it, it doesn't, it's not practical, it never actually happens. Only in a game would that probably actually happen, except for, I think there were a couple of Civil War battles in the where you're, you could actually literally see the whites of people's eyes, but a full break from the French, probably because I think they've lost, this army might have lost a general or something. Oh, shoot, I don't know why we're moving so speedy all of a sudden over the battlefield. But, it's very much the last time. I Anyway, I guess the, this small British force, because of their kiting techniques, is able to go ahead and, uh, see, that's why I think the French should have totally shot. Because if you're outnumbering them, yeah, you could charge, but quality of troops does matter still. It's not like you can just win with overwhelming numbers. 
Oh yeah, look at that, I was right. There's nothing in the building. No one at all. So the bridge should firmly have that. Every single control point. That's incredible. We're we gonna see a wipe? Hold up, we can see a full table. I haven't actually I know I've talked about it, but I've never seen it anyone actually get tabled before. But this is uh, pretty close. These units would nah, they'll probably escape. <sighs> Shoot, not a full table, I don't think. But it's gonna be seen as close as can be. Obviously rowdy units count as being killed. They, they would count towards it, because obviously breaking units all over the map. You know, we're gonna have that issue. Dang. Um, I don't think we're gonna get to see, see a, ta a real table. But yeah, the British have really done a good job, though, helping out the Austrians. Oh, look at this, they've already come up behind the uh, the French. I don't even know if they know about this, maybe that's why they're turning their forces. They, they can even form square, that's wonderful. If the British players paying attention, they could just wait until the cab is really close, and then char, and then square. Yes, sir! Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, no, the cab aren't coming. Okay. Getting some good shots off. Oh, so much artillery opening fire. Good use for artillery, by the way. Working on demoralizing the French troops. Um, that's how you do it, you know? And yeah, if the, again, if the Austrians aren't participating, then the Austrians are not participating. This can be a fully British campaign, I suppose, if they come to clean up the French forces. I feel like the, uh, these nice Swiss uniforms. Swiss foot troops. Oh, the British have burst out of the tree line. They're now taking advantage of this, I guess, surprise attack. Some of the first volleys off. This French come to surround. Are the Austrians moving yet? There they go. Now the Austrians are moving. France still has some good troops, though. They got they got some good troops. I'm not too familiar with the French names. So I'm not very good at understanding what ex exactly what they are. Because is in the language of faction. That's why UK is also easy for me to play because I can read it. America, I can read those troop names. That also is a big factor. Now we do see that the French are pushing forward. You know, a last charge, maybe. I don't know if this is the last charge, but it seems pretty pretty close to being going to be the last charge, I think. But those Highland foot are going to be taken out. Are we going to see point blank gunfire right here? Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, I was really excited. But also, like, just for the record, yeah, the French have pushed up. It doesn't matter, the British are going all the way back here. What are the British doing? Go form square, form square, that can form, they can even form square. Oh, what did they? What did they try? So that's one of the best advantages of being England, is that you can form square. Square! Square, quick! I think they probably should form square ahead of time. Are they actually, uh, no. Nah, that was just a bad, that was bad. Or that British player was should pay attention. There's only so many troops on the battlefield left for the British player. Uh, uh. The British player, I mean, he still did a really good job of just keeping the French back, not letting them score anything. I don't know where those French are going. I guess they're maybe trying not to be tipped. Well, no, they are kind of forming up through lines behind. How much time is left on this game? Well, we're looking at about 2 minutes, 28 seconds, so pretty good. I mean, how many British troops are here? 1, 2, 3, 4. There's a lot. There's a lot of British troops right there. Uh, so that should all be uh, pretty, pretty good for securing it. Wow, a general's made it. Auguste Vis Vc de Marmont has uh, has survived to the end of the battle. The last of the French, the real last of the French. I mean, the same battle has been happening for this whole time. Are they finally being hunted down and charged? Maybe that's why the British player wasn't paying attention. He was microwing over this little battle. And the, the French are just taking it. We could see a table in after all, but it's going to be a lot of troops for two minutes. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, which is okay. Not the end of the world. Although I do see that there is quite a lot of uh, troops with the French, as the Austrians do the their last march up this hill. And now just chilling. Perhaps a peaceful end to the battle. One minute to spare. As the 
French now. Move, go ahead and march, march to advance. Yeah, this is more traditional French, all the blue. Just me. That's just my opinion. There's no rule about that. Wow, this is it. Shoot, if the Austrians had pushed a little further, we could have seen a full table. Ah, oh, not enough time though. Dang it. I guess this is how the battle ends with just them staring down the Austrian army, knowing that they're probably about to die as soon as the British march over to help uh, death come from them. Do they know how much time is left? Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, zero, and then there's going to be a little bit of extra time for the game to wrap up. And I think we can safely give this battle to the Austrian Empire. Alright, so let's take a look at this overview, this battle overview. For those who care, not everyone cares, but I like showing it off. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not recording this at the best time. I'm still sleepy. Anyway, so uh, thank you again to Olioli4401 for sending in this awesome battle replay. Had a lot of fun actually looking at it. That was a, just a complete slaughter, completely one-sided. I was surprised how one-sided it actually ended up becoming. Uh, as soon as, you know, one side was completely broken, uh, that just kind of rolled up the rest of the battle pretty quickly. I think we could pretty much tell how that was going to end. Um, so we have 11 series who deployed 2,376 men, uh, only killed 984 men. Uh, Dan the Italian deploying 1,020, 1,924 men ended up killing 1,702. So good job. Actually, he managed to get the most kills of anyone else. The British player. I assume that when we were talking about the British player, I assume that's the British player who was on the right flank, who was helping to take out the British in the main city. Then we have um, Sir Repit. Seripitus Fox deploying 2,268 men, uh, killing 1,422. You know, now that I look at his kills, it's perhaps, you know, I'm not too sure which, which British player was on which side. If they're watching this, they can feel free to post it in the comments down below. Uh, then, of course, the, our, the person who submitted uh, this replay for us, deploying the most men out of anyone on this battlefield, Olioli 4401, uh, with 2,506 men deployed and 100, er, and killing. 1,381 men total, uh, and of course, sending in this awesome replay again. Thank you so much. And for the French team, we have the uh, Odd Corn Dog deploying 1,975 men and killing 1,359 men. So pretty good amount actually, uh, getting the most kills for his team. Uh, Rene uh, deploying 1,621 men and killing 985, which is just one more than the worst of the uh, winning side's uh, kills. And then we have the UEC Derpy Rush. Oh, was this a clan game? I don't think so. I don't believe it was a clan game. Uh, anyway, UEC Derpy Rush deploying 2,401 men. That is the most deployed on the French side of the battlefield and only killing 940, getting the smallest amount of kills even though they deployed the most amount of men. Um, that sucks. Uh, and then we have the RSG, another clan, uh, RSG Connor, who's deploying 2,099 men today on this battle and managed to kill 1,278 men. So pretty average, pretty somewhere in the middle. Um, overall, uh, for the, again, for those who care, the unit that killed the most amount of troops. Oh my God, is that, is that the highest one? Again, the map will scroll as we do things, as we scroll through this. Yep, two hundred. The the best killing. Machine was a Dragoneer unit, and they killed 254 units for the Austrian player. So, very well done indeed. I hope you all enjoyed this battle, and as always, guys, I'm El Worfi, and I'll see you guys next time.